a horrific scene of the explosion of a tank container containing liquid chlorine gas in the Jordanian port of Aqaba after it was dropped from the loading crane. Many believe that the reason is a break in one of the four lift wires connected to the tank. This is not correct, the cut took place on a different steel wire. We notice from the pictures and the circulating video, that the tank is falling horizontally, which is an evidence that the tank has been completely disconnected from the crane. If the reason is a break in one of the four wires, the tank would tilt to the side of that wire and swing strongly, and will not fall unless all the wires broke. In a photo of the damaged tank after the accident, at least two unbroken wires can be seen connected to the frame. So what happened? In loading the tanks on the ship, the master link of the four wire was not installed directly on the crane hook. Perhaps because it is a double hook or because it is huge and the master link is too small to be installed on it. So another wire was passed through the master link, with its ends, soft eyes, connected to the double hook. During the process of loading and unloading, the whole wire especially the part of the wire which is bent through the master link suffers high stresses. The effect of bending, friction, fatigue and endurance can be checked depending on its characteristics and on the diameter of the master link bar and according to the international specifications. This wire broke and caused the tank to drop quickly and horizontally. Notice the two pieces of the wire hanging from the crane hook in these pictures. These are the photos of the broken wire after it was removed from the hook, it is in bad condition. The tank dropped on these steel parts, which caused two large holes at the bottom of the tank that led to the leakage of chlorine. The huge yellow cloud is a result of the large difference in volume between the liquid and gaseous state. The tank overturned and ended up lying on the key side. Damages to steel parts, electrical panel and metal fencing shows the tank's fall path. Because the chlorine gas is three times heavier than the air, it occupies low-level areas, which is the sea in this case. Most of the gas moved towards the sea. The weak winds helped in limiting the spread which in turn, reduced the disaster. Follow this channel. From here and there.